Indy Mogul. Night at the Museum was a huge holiday hit back when it opened in time for Christmas in 2006, quickly becoming the second most financially successful film of Ben Stiller's already impressive career. But summer movie season is a whole different ballgame. Can this family action comedy compete? Maybe it can, but director Sean Levy and producer Chris Columbus aren't taking any chances. Thought Owen Wilson, Steve Coogan, and Robin Williams were more than enough to back up Stiller? Well, now Fox has added Hank Azaria, Bill Hader, and Christopher Guest to the list. And to top it off, Amy Adams joins the cast as fellow sleuth and romantic interest for Ben Stiller. I'm just going to skip over the weirdness of having Stiller's security guard fall in love with a wax museum figure of Amelia Earhart, as well as the fact that in real life, Earhart wasn't much for romance, as she told her husband she didn't expect him to be faithful to her, nor she to him. We'll just let the Mira Nair Hillary Swank biopic explain all that when it comes out later this year. As for Night at the Museum 2, Fox is angling to make it a big summer event because there's nothing that interests kids more than museums during summer vacation. Oh, uh, it's also on IMAX. Hey, wait, why isn't Terminator Salvation on IMAX? Night at the Museum 2, 300, Braveheart, Gladiator. All these movies are questionable when it comes to historical accuracy. Does Hollywood have an obligation to get it right or just to entertain? Write your comments down below and after the break we'll find out what audiences think of Night at the Museum 2. Filmmakers, do you have 15 seconds? Next New Networks is partnering with the Ignite Film Festival and we're looking for 15 second films. Quick fast and fun, and you'll even have the chance to have your movie screened in front of hundreds of people in New York City. Learn more at the link below. My name's Justin, and I see movies everywhere. You're watching Indie Mogul. I hear one of you does a really good impression from the movie, Firepower. Oh, boom, oh. Firepower. Boom, oh, oh. boom, Firepower. That's great. What made you come and see Night at the Museum 2 today? We came because our kids are out of school and we're on vacation and we wanted to see it on IMAX. Is it worth seeing an IMAX? Oh yes, it is. All of the characters coming out in the movie made it more fun, I think, for us and the kids. Why did you go see Night at the Museum 2 today? Uh, because I didn't know I was going, but uh, my dad got the tickets, so... Oh, it was a surprise? Yeah. Was it a good surprise? Yes. I came with my kids from school. Oh. I teach them social studies, and uh, it was a good movie. It's a fun movie to watch. Well, do you think adults will like it as much as kids? Um, I'd say, I'd say, well, yeah. It was childish. Oh, uh, so they, like, took all the bite out of it for kids? Yeah. Did you see the first one? Yes. What did you think of the first movie? Um, uh, not bad in this one. Any good sequel is measured by how they up the ante, so the second one up the ante. Good job. I think the last one maybe had a little more comedy in it, a little more interaction between Owen and Ben, which was fun. As a social studies teacher, is it educational? Yeah. Did you learn anything? No. Yes. What did you learn? Uh, I learned that, um, that as much as the first one had, that everything comes to life. You know, I mean, history comes alive. Do you think the movie was historically accurate? Did it do a nice job? It, it, was, it was pretty decent. So more for the message than the history. Yeah. I definitely think it would make them interested in seeing the things in the museum and history and it brings it to life, makes it fun. Do you wish all museums were kind of like this? Yes. I didn't know like Washington DC had a big like museum, like it was multiple mm. buildings. I was like, oh, so it was, it was a little kind of educational, but I don't like the movie though. Who was your favorite character in the movie? Wow, I got to pick one. <laughs> Larry. Larry? Lady. I like the cowboy the better. Oh yeah? Yeah. He was Jebediah? Yeah. I like number Rob, so the bad guy. He he he's funny. So who do you recommend this movie for? My little sister. Yeah? Yeah. Probably How old is she? Like Eleven. Definitely go see it. It's just as fun for the parents as it is for the kids. Did you see a third? Oh yeah. But but where else can they film a, a museum movie? Maybe the Louvre in Paris or um, oh, oh. the Cairo There museum. you go, Night Museum 3, the Louvre. What do you give this movie on a 1 to 10? I would give it a 10. 10. I'll give it a 10. A 10. 6. An 8. I'll give it like 6 and a half. Looks like Night at the Museum 2 is solid, if not spectacular, family entertainment as audiences give it an 8.5. And looking to go beyond to be on the trailer? Friend me on Facebook where you can ask me anything you want about movies and discuss my question of the day. It's a movie news feed you can interact with. 
I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25 and you've just gone beyond the trailer. Did you know Indy Mogul just turned two years old? It's true. Our two year anniversary. And the only reason we're still around is because of you. So we want to know what your favorite Indy Mogul memory was from the last two years. Go to IndieMogul.com and upload a video wishing us a happy birthday and your favorite memory. And we'll put it in our special anniversary episode coming out June 1st. The deadline is May 28th. So, so enter, enter now. now.